Hello. Have you heard about the start, stop, continue framework or tool? You know, people call it different things. I believe it's a really, really good tool because it helps us assess our progress as individuals. The start piece, you know, helps us highlight things that we need to start doing. When it talks about stopping, there might be things that are not working that we need to stop. Talk about failing forward. And of course, continue helps us identify and know the things that are working well that we need to continue. So before we get into the flurry of Christmas, let's talk about how we can implement this tool in our lives, not just in this year, but even as we plan for 2021. See you in a bit. Welcome to the Quip Corner. As this year is very quickly wrapping up, it's always a good time this time of year to look back on how this year has gone or you know how it has been so to speak and look forward as we plan for 2021. Incidentally when I was preparing for this video I realized that this is my 32nd video. Wow I would never have imagined I'd come this far. So I'd like to thank you once again for sticking with me. It's one thing to come up with a plan of what you want to do and then you need to decide, you know, after you start, to decide whether you should stop or continue. Well, let's talk about Quip 32. That's why we're here today. It says, the best punctuation mark after a success or failure is a question mark. Ask yourself, what next? Then continue your quest to accomplish more. I actually like the picture I got for it in my book. You know, it's like the question mark and then saying, what next? Irrespective of how this year has turned out for you, one thing is certain. For everybody, it has turned out differently than we imagined. But that's not a reason for you to stop. Do you remember my very first video where I talked about stepping up and stepping out? Saying that, you know, this season is one that would help us decide whether or not we come out better, we emerge better or not. And in stepping up and stepping out, some of us may have succeeded. Some of us may have failed. But did you put a full stop? i.e. a period, or an exclamation mark, or a question mark after that success or failure. There's so much more for you to accomplish. You may not have achieved all your dreams and goals for this year, but that doesn't mean you should stop dreaming. That doesn't mean you should stop working towards your goals. As an example, I know, you know, talking to a, a couple of people during the lockdown period, there were people where that, you know, were saying, oh, I want to learn a new skill. I want to learn a new hobby. I want to take courses. A couple of people I spoke to said, I'd like to write a book. And for some of them that I said to them, you said you want to write a book? Okay, I will be checking on you. I checked with some of them and it was like, I haven't gotten around to it. Two months later, I still haven't gotten around to it. If you're one of those people who desires to be a published author, you need to get writing. By the way, there's the Authors Win course. It's a six-week course that would give you the tools to help you write your book. And within six weeks, your book should be ready for publishing. I'll put up the flyer so that you can see the information. As you can see from this flyer, if you register before Christmas Day, you will enjoy a 20% discount. I like discounts. I don't know about you. That's one way you can step closer 
to your dream of being a published author. Thanks again for joining me in the Quip Corner. Irrespective of how this year has turned out for you, whether you succeeded or you failed, remember to put a question mark at the end of it and ask yourself what next. As you unearth the answer to that question, do something about it. Remember, it could be that you need to start something or stop something that didn't work or continue doing something. Progress is important if you want to get to whatever dream it is, writing a book, learning a new skill, you know, increasing your knowledge, whatever it is. Until we see next week, keep making progress. Bye now.